Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. At a stormy evening, I'm a little bit late today, it has been raining very hard, been very loud and um, I was of course also recording for my other channel Strange World Tarot if you haven't um, visited over there. But anyway we're carrying on with the royals here today and still the blowback from Harry's interview, his appearance on that ITV um, documentary Tabloids on Trial and one of the things that was most uh, horrifying and causes jaws, caused Jaws to drop the most was Harry saying that he had the support of the late Queen in his battle against the tabloids and he claimed on camera we had many conversations before she passed she knew how much this meant to me he then goes on to say that he knows she's looking down cheering him on from above I'm going to look at that in the next reading but for now I'm going to be looking at this notion that Harry has that the late Queen actively supported his campaign to stifle the British media because Lady C has just popped up with her, her latest video and she has it allegedly directly from a royal that she knows she was cagey about who the royal was for obvious reasons but she said the royal source said that Harry lied on TV, on that ITV documentary about the late Queen's support and uh, that the Queen was a great believer in the freedom of the press. She would never have supported this. Uh, it was a categoric denial, according to Lady C, of what Harry has claimed and um, that Harry had unmitigated gall to suggest that he was in fact supported by the Queen. It was one of those where, Harry, where uh, Lady C was all come and sue me. Um, you know, I, I know I'm right, so give it your best shot. It was that kind of thing. Uh, she made an interesting throwaway comment that really the royals believe that it isn't about the money, these um, legal proceedings that Harry is intent upon. It's all coming from Meghan with the ultimate goal, according to Lady C, and let's throw in allegedly here, the ultimate goal of getting Piers Morgan imprisoned. That is, of course, worthy of a reading all by itself, which I will get to in the next day or so. But for now, to start, our late start today, I'm going to do a little five card reading. I'm going to look at this notion that Harry has that the late Queen supported his vendetta against the British media. That is my word, my opinion. And uh, see how Harry feels truly, how the late Queen felt, whether this claim, this large claim, has anything to do with drugs. Uh, because Lady C did seem to imply that the, the royals think this, the sniffing, the dilated pupils, all of that stuff that was very much on display on the ITV documentary. He really looked very bad. That is my opinion. Other people are saying it as well. I'm no expert um, in any of these spheres, mercifully, but it looked bad to me. So I want to know uh, how much, what a, of a role drugs have had to play in this notion that he now has, that he has the support of the Queen, uh, including from the afterlife. And this is going to influence his case because the speculation is that he did this in the hope that the um, media companies would settle, they'd offer him vast amounts to settle so he wouldn't have to go through with the case that he's implicated in now where of course he's in trouble for losing evidence. Allegedly, I think we're good. And let's remind you, very important, that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion, it's all speculation. And we just read energy here. And of course, there is a disclaimer in the box below. So let's see Harry's true feelings about this. What does he really believe? What did the Queen really feel about this role of drugs? We've got the lovers, interesting. 
interesting because as I say Lady C source uh, said that allegedly the royals believe that this is all coming from herself this one's wife as she's known in certain circles we have the lovers we have the tree that is entwined the two trees looks like entwined and we know that we have trees like that in Montecito those palm trees uh, which caused them to buy the house apparently they said and so there it is this is a this is a joint effort that's our underlying energy and the energy of the cards is telling me that lady sees royal source had um had some energy around this notion that this is really coming from megan um this is a joint campaign against the media and possibly even against Piers Morgan specifically. They did try and get him in, I think, to the case and that was thrown out. Um, so he's never had to actually um, come in as a defendant. Um, I could be mis misquoting here. But anyway, there it is. That's our underlying energy. It tells its own tale. The situation we're dealing with, with the story. And we've got the temperance card and that's the angel. And this is trying to invoke that energy of the queen, um, who is the, the, the moderator, the, the voice of reason, the voice of calm. And poor Fluffy has just popped in from uh, the storm to take refuge inside. It's just truly nasty outside. Um, but the temperance card is that harmonious energy that balancing energy it's very wise it's very benign it's very highly regarded so he's trying to summons that energy and say look i had all these conversations she was on my side how can you proceed with this case you need to drop it right now and give me tons of money um because there she is the, the temperance card supporting me and this crusade i'm right uh, so how does he genuinely feel about this and we got the seven of pentacles that is the he's very invested in it that's what's coming through for me energetically the seven of pentacles is your harvest your investment what you've stashed away for a rainy day quite literally here in my case um what your effort has brought you uh, with that seven of pentacles. I think he honestly believes that he's entitled to this. The payout, the win, uh, the big settlement with that seven of pentacles. It's very interesting that there's a female energy in this card. There isn't usually, it's the tarot of the abyss. I forgot to tell you, got so excited about doing the reading. This is the tarot that I'm reading with, the tarot of the abyss. It's a dark tarot, chosen very specifically for the next reading I'm doing. But there's this female energy, it's earth sign energy. Um, it's, it's supportive, it's nurturing, it's here, you will get your reward, your harvest, your return. He believes it. He believes it and he's believed this for a long time because it's seven years, the seven of pentacles. This has been going in a long time and we can all um, realize, do the maths, that seven years pretty much since the two, the charming couple got engaged and it became official. There it is. This is the investment. This is what we deserve. This is where we are heading. And the queen supports it because it is that nurturing, nourishing energy of the seven of pentacles. What did the Queen actually think about all of this? Six of Swords, let it go, move on, put it behind you, don't. Um, it's interesting, it's not a dragon, but uh, Harry is known to think that he is slaying dragons in this crusade. It's not quite a dragon uh, in the Six of Swords here. Flying high, rise above it put it behind you that is literally what the six of swords is about let leave the conflict of the five of swords behind you and move on go to a peaceful restful place she was a very spiritual woman she believed in christian virtues she would have believed in that kind of notion of forgiving moving forward um putting um, unpleasantness behind you for the sake of this temperance energy of harmony of peace and calm in the world so she did not she was not saying 
give it all you've got take them down you know i'll bring the might of the british monarchy to bear against them not at all she's saying get over it let it go but of course he couldn't and he couldn't because of this lover's energy underlying this whole reading so let's have a look at the alleged drug influence on this whole belief this notion uh, completely contrary to what everyone else remembers observed that actually you know the queen thought this was a fine idea and we got the wheel of fortune in reverse this is somebody who's gambled who's playing with fate and who's on on the on the downside of things wheel of fortune in reverse it's a setback it's a, a reversal of fortune it's it's lady luck but it's bad luck it's not giving me addiction it's not giving me devil energy all of those kinds of things but it's telling me and i'm having to shout because a deluge like never before is now tumbling down it often happens when i press the record button for some reason um but the wheel of fortune the reversal of fortune the setback tells me that he's put himself on a path that is the word is, that's coming through is a path of danger it's a path of misfortune of playing against the going against the gods going against um what is divinely intended he's really bringing himself some bad luck with this some ill fortune with his drug use uh, that may have some influence over what he's imagining he's going down a dark road with this wheel of fortune in reverse um and it it's dangerous because you you're messing with fate you you're you're inviting misfortune into your life um, it, it's almost the gods are not pleased energy with that wheel of fortune in reverse um, it's interesting that we've got two Sagittarian energies here I don't know why that's happened wheel of fortune Jupiterian energy temperance is Sagittarian major arcana we've got that energy I don't know why that energy is coming up so strongly here I can't off the top of my head think of anyone in this scenario who is a Sagittarius uh, but it is that energy um, which is, is the party sign it can be um, uh, having you know uh, jovial energy party energy and uh, showing up here interestingly just to be noted and of course Harry is implicated in a court case well he's not implicated he's mentioned in court filings very much to do with partying and that matter hasn't been resolved yet and uh, we have looked at that already and we will look at it again when it comes back into the media it's been really suppressed for the time being and we're talking here about suppressing the media so now i understand why there's the sense of playing with fire in this wheel of fortune card in reverse the wheel in reverse harry has been playing with fire okay so we got a bit distracted there and we have to throw some allegedly all over here in my opinion and all just tarot and speculation and move on to the outcome is this going to have the desired effect as far as harry is concerned that the press are going to say oh mea culpa here sack loads of money and piers is going to present himself at prison tomorrow with his hands outstretched to be handcuffed what's going to happen got the king of cups in reverse not a chance a big disappointment with the king of cups in reverse he's heading for stormy seas the king of cups manages to still those stormy seas a bit like the temperance card does there harmonizing blending those energies that happens there's the stormy seas the queen said rise above it let it go no i insist and so he's got his work cut out now because he's in the tempest he's in the eye of the storm our uh, has been with the king of cups in reverse he doesn't have the emotional control maturity to navigate these stormy seas without incident he's going to be in big trouble emotionally um, and it could go very badly wrong for him it could end up with a heavy defeat and of course who's also in that king of cups energy is prince william 
Prince William was the one who did exactly what the Queen advised. He settled out of court. He got a big payout. We don't know exactly how much. He gave it to charity. He did the right thing. He left it behind. He didn't participate in the documentary. Apparently they did ask him onto the documentary. He said no. And there you have it. Not going to go well for the has been. He's made a bad choice. The Lovers is also about choices. He's made a bad choice and uh, he's tempting fate, quite literally. And I get a very heavy energy when I say that and I look at that card. Um, I think there could be some quite bad things coming. And I'm just saying that as a tarot reader and that is just, of course, my opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.